Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another round of weekly manis. As always, I am still playing catch up. I am filming this the Monday after Mother's Day and the polishes, the manis that I'm about to share with you are manis that I wore prior to Easter. So that should give you an idea of how behind I am. It's about a month, I want to say. Uh, so yeah, I'm still playing catch up. A lot has been going on, but we'll discuss that in a further video. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I want to start this video by discussing our highlight of the week. So my highlight of the week is that I was finally able to host a cookout here at my home. Now, that might sing as something so ordinary to some others but as y'all know I am a person that has been struggling with her emotional health for the last two years so being able to host a cookout for my family uh, was such a big deal for me and the fact that I was able to take on that responsibility without feeling stressed or you know having any fears or you know irrational fears about it was such a big step for me Granted, it was only my uh, brother-in-law and his two kids that came over, my niece and my nephew. So it was not like a big family thing. But regardless, uh, it's something that probably a couple of months ago I wouldn't have been able to do simply because it, it would have been honestly too much for me to take on. So we had an amazing time. Uh, you know, cookout food is some of my favorite food. I mean, who doesn't love fajitas? And you know, we had such a great time. They almost burned my backyard. So <laughs> great memories were created. Such a good time. I'm just, I'm just so happy that, you know, I'm finally getting control of my life back and things that are so ordinary uh, to other people, I am finally able to do things that I couldn't do in the past that were such a burden. I mean, that's that's how bad it was, you guys. Simple things as a cookout, hosting a cookout here at my house were such a burden. And I mean, I was I was finally able to do it for the first time. And it was such a great time, uh, such a great highlight of my week. I'm so happy that I was able to do that. So now it's your turn as always. Let us know in the comments below what was the highlight of your week. Let's spread some positivity around the internet. Let the good outweigh the bad. I know I had some bad moments too during the week. You know, I had some uh, moments too. But when you stop to count your blessings, you guys, the good always outweighs the bad. So don't get stuck in the bad moments. You know, always, always focus on the good and you'll see that the good always outweighs the bad. So let's get to the polish. As usual, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the polishes that I already made specific videos on. So the first two that I actually wore as full manis that week are the two from Louis Lacquer. I have uh, this beautiful holographic polish, which is in the shade Delighted, and this beautiful red flaky polish. I mean, just look at all those beautiful flakies. This one is in the shade Cheers. These two polishes do come from the Euphoria collection, which was released last April uh, from Louis Lacquer. If you're interested in checking out that review and more details, more swatch pictures on this too, I will link that video in the description box for you guys. As well as the one uh, neon that I wore. This is more like a pastel neon. This beautiful polish is from Color Club and it's in the shade Anything But Basic. And it looks like a pastel yellow. It kind of looks like a pastel green, but it's neither one of those two shades. It's anything but basic. It's such a beautiful shade. If you're interested in checking out my picks from the forever or whatever, forever, forever, whatever. I can't remember right now, but I do have a quick uh, review on my picks from this collection. Beautiful polishes. So if you're interested on that, also uh, make sure to check out that video. I'll link it in the description box for you. All right, now on to the three polishes that I wore that I haven't mentioned here on my channel. Let's start with a glitter bomb that is from Color Club. And here it is. This is Zodiac Attack from Color Club, which is part of their Fall 2017 Retrograde Rising collection. It is a multicolor hex square and bar glitter in a clear base. It definitely has some uh, holographic glitters in there as well. Uh, this polish is so much fun. There's definitely a lot more glitter than base, so you do have to manipulate the glitters a little bit when applying it. I don't think that I picked the perfect base when it came to, you know, my Manny. I did put it over one of my project polishes, so it was a pink, and this polish does have a lot of pastel pink in it, so it kind of 
I don't think it popped as much as it has the potential to, so that was my bad. Uh, but I can see it looking amazing over a dark, maybe like a dark navy blue. I see a lot of potential on this one. I definitely want to wear over other polishes. If you don't like to maneuver your polishes, I don't think you're going to like this one because like I said, it has a lot of glitter in here. Tons, tons of glitter. If you don't like bar glitter, I know a lot of people don't like bar glitters. You're not going to like this one. There's definitely a lot of bar glitter in here as well. So it's, I don't think it's a glitter for everyone, but it's a unique glitter to add to your stash. I'm very happy that I tried it. I'm not happy the way I wore it. I think I should have tried a different, um, like I said, a different base color to really showcase it better for you guys. But I, I really like it. And if you're looking for something unique, uh, Color Club Zodiac Attack is a good one. Color Club has frequent sales on their website. So if you're interested in adding a unique um, heavy on the glitter, glitter topper to your collection next time, I highly recommend Zodiac Attack. After that glitter bomb, I went the complete opposite and went with the dark multi-chrome polish. This beautiful shifty polish is from, I want to say, Ades or a these, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, a desk New York, and it is in the shade Grand Central. And on their website, it is described as a steely and ultra shimmery medley of gunmetal gray with hints of blue, gold, and violet. If this polish sounds familiar to you, it's because I have previously featured it here on my channel. I have a dedicated Nail of the Day video on this polish, which if you missed it, I'll link it in the description box for you as well, but it is one of my first videos here on my channel, just a heads up, so yeah, it's a little awkward. This is a very clean brand. It is 12 free. It is formulated with organic and natural pigments, and it is very expensive. This bottles of nail polish, which are, let me see if I can see how many, 11 ml, retail for $20, you guys. Now, I got mine uh, on an Ipsy bag a while back when I was subscribed to this service. So I'm happy that I got to try this brand. I do have a few others in my stash. And I think it's a good polish. Uh, a little bit brushed, strokey. Nothing terrible though. Uh, but like I said, it's a very clean brand. So it is PETA, Bunny Certified, Cruelty Free, and Vegan. So for all of you that are looking for uh, a very, very clean brand that has all these certifications, uh, this one is one of them, but you are gonna have to pay $20 per bottle. Uh, the way I wore this polish this time around is only one coat over black, which I think still delivered. Uh, I can still see that really nice multi-chrome, and I like how it looked. I don't think my light here is picking it up pretty well, or as well as I want it to, uh, but it's a really nice multi-chrome. Uh, if you're looking for a nice, clean polish, you know, that has all the certifications, that's a very clean brand, uh, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny, but uh, Adidas New York has it for you. It's a good polish, a little brush strokey, but it will deliver. You can get it fully opaque on its own, or you can wear it one coat over black to, <laughs> to save the polish since it's very expensive. Uh, but it's it's pretty you guys. I'm glad I have it. I enjoy wearing it um, There's really nothing bad to say <laughs> last but definitely not least I did wear an indie now The reason why I wore this polish is to prevent myself from purchasing a polish from this same brand Moonshine Manny released a limited, I think it was a limited edition polish for the month of April for Autism Awareness Month I believe the name of that polish was Triumph and you guys know I'm a sucker for blues. And that polish looked amazing. I'm pretty sure you guys can Google swatches. You know, a lot of people did. A lot of people that received this polish for PR did special videos on this. So I'm pretty sure you can find one here on YouTube as well. Beautiful polish. I definitely wanted to get my hands on it and support a good cause. But I knew I had a polish that was very close to it. And that is this beautiful polish from Moonshine Manny. It is in the shade you may get wet now this polish is no longer available it is an indie shop 2018 exclusive so i mean this was only available at the indie shop in anaheim i was very lucky to find it at a distash sale now i'm not saying that this is the same as triumph because it's not okay let's just get that out of the way it is not the same but in my opinion it was similar enough to keep me from purchasing that other polish and so I put this on. Definitely the other one had a lot more flakies and it looked more vibrant than this one. But 
it did its job. It kept me from purchasing another polish. This one is so pretty, you guys. It's just a blue with chameleon flakies. And I mean, just look at that. Phoebe does such a good job with this polishes. I mean, I think we all know this. And I'm so happy that I picked this up at a distashel at an amazing price, obviously. And I'm sorry that I'm here like showcasing this polish, uh, especially when you can no longer get it. My intention was to show it back when I wore this so that if you were interested in this polish, you could pick up that one from um, for the Autism Awareness release. Uh, so I'm sorry because I'm pretty sure that one's no longer available now. Um, so it kind of defeats the purpose too. But if you have this one or if you did purchase Triumph in April, uh, this is your friendly reminder to wear them because they're amazing. Sorry, sorry you didn't get your hands on either of these two polishes. But uh, yeah, you guys, I'm so happy that I wore this one indoors. I was very happy with uh, two coats, but as soon as I stepped outdoors to get my pictures, I can see that it could have probably benefited from a third coat. However, uh, if you're not picky, two coats would be enough. And I think at the time I wore this polish, at the length of my nails, um, I was okay at two coats. But right now, like at my length, I would probably do three. So I would say two to three coats, depending on your length with this one. Not that it matters because, again, it was a limited edition release. But uh, just in case, if you haven't worn this polish or if you ever see it on the D-Stash sale, you know what to look out for uh two to three coats depending on nail length um amazing formula beautiful polish uh you may get wet it's it's so beautiful it definitely satisfied my craving for this kind of polish and i'm so happy that i have it and today you guys i am wearing one of my project polish polishes uh which if you're interested in checking out which one it is i will leave my most recent project polish update somewhere here on the screen as always you guys thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today let me know what you've been wearing recently if you own any of these polishes and your thoughts on them please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one